do you has what it takes? Do you has what it takes? I apologize to all English teachers out there in the marketplace, but I'm very famous uh, with these acrostics. A great peak producing agent is somebody who has it. They has it. They don't, they're not a has been. They're not a never was. They're a has agent. Habits, attitude, and skills. Habits, attitude, and skills. Do you have the habits of a peak producer? Do you have the attitude of a peak producer? Do you have the skills of a peak producer? Let me just share with you. All three of those things can be learned and improved upon. What do most people think? You got to be born with it. You're a born athlete. My wife, five foot eight, played four years on the US Olympic team. Okay? We would meet people all the time. She could dunk a basketball in college. White girls can't do that stuff, just so you know. <laughs> people would say this all the time. I'd hear this all the time. You're a natural athlete. You're a natural athlete. Say all the time, you're a natural athlete. Now, she was definitely blessed with some athletic talent, but I'm going to tell you most of what I saw following around the world and the way she worked out and the way she was all learned. It was all worked at. She busted her hump every day. She worked out. Her practices with the Olympic team was six hours a day. There was nothing natural about it at all. <laughs> it was unnatural. <laughs> Let me share. Oh, you're a natural born salesperson. That phrase means you're a good talker. That means you're a good talker. I tell you, the greatest salespeople are awesome listeners. Your habits are something that can be worked on, improved, just like this. Habits are something that can be sharpened. Your attitude is attitude. Oh, you're just lucky. Just lucky to be born with that countenance. You wake up happy every day. No, I don't. <laughs> Ask my wife. <laughs> but I have a choice. Am I going to put on Fox News or MSNBC? Or am I going to drag out a little Zig Ziglar? Jim Rome? What am I going to do? I'm going to have choices. I can put the good stuff in, or I can put the crap in. I can get sharp, or I can get blunt. These are the choices every day. Habits, attitude, skills. Your skills. It's your skills that pay the bills. It's your skills that pay the bills. When was the last time you worked on your negotiation skills? Let me ask you this. Is it just whatever I did five years ago, that's what I do today? Most people learn skills from losing. I went on an appointment. For some reason, I thought I connected. I go outside. Three days later, someone else's sign is in the yard. Now, initially, we don't look at it as, oh, I need to get better. Those lion sons, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't want it anyway. It's overpriced. Tear down. <laughs> and that's your mother's house you're talking about. <laughs> but can we get better with our skills? Can we get better with our presentations? Can we get better with our negotiations? Yes. Got to work on it. Got to work on it. I'll share the neat stories here. I love this stuff, uh, and I'll be able to share the grand numbers here. But look at this stuff. Here's, here's a neat story. This is what I really love. Here's uh, Brandon Bartley. In 12 weeks, he closed 25 deals, paid off 44 grand in credit card debt, and now has six months of reserves in 12 weeks. Now, the thing is, this is not some miracle pill, but what this was, he got in the slipstream. Okay? I love this story. Tanisha looks. Now, Tanisha, she's down in Frisco. She closed eight times more transactions than the previous year. Okay, got in the game, newer in the business, newer in the game, young gal, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, started doing this stuff. And got from here to here. Pretty quick. Pretty quick. And that's what I want for all of you. You, want, you need a track to run on. Okay? You want to get in that slipstream. And you want to sharpen the saw, okay? That's what we got to do, and that's how we're going to have a great year all, all year long. Not just a great first quarter, which we need to start, but we get connected, we stay in that slipstream, we keep the skills sharp. It'll be New Year's Eve, and you'll be looking like you ate a banana sideways, okay? 
if you want to have your best year ever, the first place you have to do is decide in your mind and then become convinced in your heart. You have to decide in your mind and you have to con be convinced in your heart. And if you'll do that, then all you got to do is the activities.